When it comes to EV pickups, Ford and Rivian were the first ones out of the gate to make it to volume production. So while there are plenty of factories from General Motors, Ram, and Tesla ramping up to produce EV pickups, for this video, we're looking at the two that have had their trucks on the road for many months now. Now before anybody asks, well what about the Hummer EV pickup? I haven't had a chance to experience that one personally yet, so we'll save it for another episode. Out of the gate, startup Rivian hit the ground running with a quad motor setup and clean sheet design, while Ford has taken all the things that have made the gasoline F-150 the best selling vehicle in America and amped it up with an all wheel drive EV setup. Our first matchup is towing, which Rivian wins on paper with a maximum towing capacity of 11,000 pounds, while the Ford maxes out at 10,000. When it comes to real world towing, Ford has a neat trick up its sleeve. It uses artificial intelligence, computer vision, and machine learning to automatically back up and align the truck's hitch ball to a trailer coupler with a touch of a button. Lightning owner Sergio Rodriguez is also a big fan of how the Lightning recalculates range on the fly based on its towing load. With this, I'll be able to put my trailer on here. It'll immediately start to, like I could punch in the weight of the trailer, um, what's going on, and it will go ahead and calculate, show that on the, on the state of charge on the screen, and then, um, you know, calculate all my charging stations, everything based off of that information and not on the information of, of its normal um, charge rate. So that's huge to me because now you're taking out the guessing game of like what, what to do. Both pickups come with integrated trailer brake controllers. Speaking of towing, depending on the load, weather, terrain, etc., you could see your range take a hit of 40% or more. Meaning with either vehicle, you may be charging as often as 100 miles or so if you're really pushing them to the limit. Edmonds did a detailed test between the two using the same identical 7,500 pound payloads. I'll put a link to that video in the description field of this one for anyone that wants all the details. And that brings us to charging speed. Car and Driver recently did a charging showdown and found the R1T hit a peak speed of nearly 200 kilowatt hours, while the Lightning only managed 163. Perhaps more importantly, Rivian claims that eventually it will be able to charge at speeds of up to 300 kilowatts via an over-the-air update. However, Ford may have the real trump card when it comes to charging. It recently announced a deal with Tesla that will open up every U.S. supercharger station to Ford EV owners. At the time of this video's posting, the question was whether Rivian might follow suit with a similar deal to gain full access to superchargers. Ford will be mailing out supercharger adapters to Lightning owners in 2024 and adding Tesla charging ports to the next gen Lightning. Both the Lightning and Rivian have massive frunks, putting them well ahead of gas pickups when it comes to storage. The Rivian also offers a unique pass-through innovation, which is one of the things that attracted R1T owner Jimmy McGovern to his Rivian. Probably my favorite, though, is the gear tunnel. You, you really can't go wrong with the use of space, um, the use of space here. Like a conventional vehicle that has that has um, you know, a fuel tank and everything else is gonna be in here. Your exhaust system is gonna be taking up a lot of this space. The, the ability to create functional storage uh, for whatever, golf clubs, strollers, um, man, you name it, the, the sky's the limit of what you can put in there. Um, as well as the, you know, some of the actual Rivian accessories, so like the, the gear shuttle as well as uh, the camp kitchen once they start producing that. And then as many of you guys have seen from the videos, it's load bearing so you can stand on it, get in, get onto the roof rack, get whatever you need here, uh, get stuff in and out of the bed. Both trucks have some neat features in their cargo beds, but the Ford runs away with the race when it comes to actual bed capacity with 52.8 cubic feet versus the Rivian's 22.6 cubic feet.
Both trucks come in a variety of packages. The top tier Lightning delivers 580 horsepower and 775 pound-feet of torque with its 131 kilowatt-hour battery pack with 320 miles of EPA estimated range. The fully loaded R1T has a 135 kilowatt-hour pack with 835 horsepower and 908 pound-feet of torque, which explains its additional 1,000 pounds of towing capacity. The EPA rates the R1T at 314 miles of range. Moving inside, the Lightning and R1T are comfortable with large center stacks that boast plenty of tech, including a variety of driving modes. But the Ford once again pulls in the lead, offering both wired and wireless versions of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Neither is available in the R1T, and two Rivian owners I spoke with also complained about the Rivian's native navigation. When it comes to build quality, I interviewed one Lightning owner and two Rivian owners. Both Rivian owners had taken their EVs back to have some panel gap issues addressed, but were otherwise happy with their cars. The three owners I spoke with were happy with their choices, and I found the ride to be good in both pickups. As for off-road chops, Motor Trend did extensive testing, concluding the Rivian is more capable, thanks in part to its five off-road modes and height-adjustable suspension. Looking at driver assist packages, Ford currently wins with Blue Cruise since it offers true hands-free driving on mapped interstates. The Rivian requires drivers to touch the wheel occasionally. Both the Rivian and Ford can be used as a backup generator. They have plenty of power outlets, including traditional household 12-volt outlets that are capable of charging another EV. But Ford amps it up with an optional kit that allows you to power your entire house, including air conditioning and refrigerator, by tying directly into your home's circuit breaker box. When it comes to price, the Lightning starts lower at around $60,000, compared to $73,000 for the R1T. However, once you start checking all the boxes, their prices become very similar at roughly $98,000 for the Lightning and approximately $99,000 for the R1T. Unless you luck out or are willing to pay big markups, in both cases you'll have a month-long wait before a Lightning or Rivian is delivered. When it comes to getting service, Ford pulls back in the lead in most parts of the country with more than 2,900 dealers, while Rivian had less than three dozen service centers across the country at last check. For those of you that would like to learn more about Ford's F-150 Lightning and Rivian's R1T, I invite you to watch the owner reviews I did with both pickups. You'll find those linked at the end of this video. And if you've enjoyed this episode of EV Rider, please give it a like and subscribe so I can bring you more adventures in EV motoring. Thanks so much for watching.